Welcome to our training session today. My name is Paul Lemon and I'm the author of 10 Weeks to Financial Awakening. Today we'll address how to transition your clients from estimated financial information to their actual financial realities. Ask any advisor, coach, or educator and they'll tell you that this is the most challenging part of what they do, helping clients really deal with their reality. The second phase of integrating 10 weeks with the WIN score is to get real numbers from the client. This is a four-step process that are outlined in this slide. Step one is to identify initial data that are estimates rather than actual. Step two is to ask your clients to give you the real numbers. Step three is to introduce the What's Enough budget spreadsheet. And step four is to create an updated scenario using the actual data provided by your client. The first step is to determine what data is actual and what is estimated. On your data input sheets, circle the estimated E items after categorizing each item as either E for estimated or A for actual. Very few clients have actual spending numbers available. It's not good, bad, right or wrong, it's just what is. Our job isn't to judge, it's to empower and to encourage. So how do we empower the client to provide us with their actual cash flow data? Before getting lost in the details, visit with your clients about the importance of actual information. Rather than pretend they aren't intimidated by this process, help them face their fears so that when they leave your office they won't be overcome by their fears to the point of never coming back. Now how can the 10 weeks program help with this? Page 122 of the 10 weeks book talks about how most of us feel about a budget or any hint of summarizing our actual financial expenses. We resist doing this work because we feel that we're going to be constantly punished by the budget cop. Ask your clients to talk about their fears around this and then see if they might be willing to reframe the budget into a buddy that can assist them in living in alignment with their intentions. Each of you will be given the What's Enough spreadsheet that I've developed to empower clients to summarize their cash flows. The beauty of this spreadsheet is that it accurately calculates annual spending based on a review of only one month's data with some adjustments for certain items that may not be accurately reflected with an annualization of that one month's actual income and expense. This spreadsheet, along with the WinScore software, allows you as educators to ignore all references to Quicken in the 10 weeks book. By the end of today's sessions, each of you educators can see how the WinScore scenarios replace the Quicken scenarios. It's critically important that you spend 15 to 20 minutes with your clients showing them how to use this spreadsheet. If they don't have Excel, they can open up this spreadsheet in Google Docs, which will also explain how to do. Please emphasize how critical it is that the clients follow these instructions exactly. One of the most important skills you are teaching your clients is to ground to slow down and deal with the details of their lives in a calm manner. The actual data input goes in the month that the client is summarizing, preferably a month for which they have all their credit card statements and banking statements. Each individual input item is posted to the right of the actual column and the amounts are automatically totaled. After entering a transaction, instruct the client to simply circle it 
or check it off from their check register or credit card statement so they don't enter input duplicate times. Section F of the spreadsheet provides a place to adjust your month's transactions to more accurately reflect a true monthly average. Instruction number 9 explains how to use this section. Remind your clients that they need to manually type in these adjustments into the input fields in sections A through E and indicate when they've done so by entering a Y in this area here. Because we are working with gross income, we need to calculate tax expense, both income and payroll related. To calculate federal income taxes, use the link listed here. This slide captures the state income tax and payroll taxes that can easily be left out in a cash flow analysis. If clients are intimidated by this level of research, you can easily add it to their spreadsheet before finalizing their actual cash flows. As you can see here for the Case family, their actual expenses, even without the credit cards, is $14,134 per month or $169,608 per year. Now this is a number you can work with. It's real. This slide simply reminds you to remove the income and payroll taxes from the living expense input into the WEN score. Since you are using the professional version of the WEN score, Make sure that you calculate the overall income tax average rate from the What's Enough spreadsheet and compare it to the tax rates used in Data 5-5 tab. Adjust the WEN score tax assumptions to match your actual average tax rates.